Ooh, welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to another Wi-Fi battle done by me, Blaze Shadowthorn. This one is not just an ordinary Wi-Fi battle. No, this is actually a monotype battle because I love having monotype battles. Uh, because before I did, uh, before I started doing YouTube, or like in the middle of doing YouTube, I still am a part of a guild on Frost. Cause, you know, Frost is a bit more competitive, where you know they have they make makeshift leaks and stuff, and all that's monotype. So you really have to push yourself. With monotypes, so I really like monotypes. I feel it has more strategy involved than the standard OU stuff. And, you know, you use a lot of lower tier stuff that you never really thought of because it helps you with type coverages and stuff like that. Like, it's it's it's, it's an interesting... It's interesting. So, um... I'm using just a random uh, mono team. I just picked six fire types because I thought I had enough fire types on my team. It's also kind of a mono color type team too. A mono because like a lot of fire types are red, so you know it's like a mono color mono type at the same time. I don't know, it's still something I, I just thought of like now looking at the team preview. But anyways, looking at my team, I have the uh, um, a magician stealth fox. It's holding a berry. I'm pretty terrible with names of like berries and stuff, but it's the, the, the berry that weakens ghosts. Whatever whatever that is. Whatever the berry that weakens ghosts is, that's the berry I'm holding it for, because it's meant to deal with, like, egg slashes and stuff like that. Which, of course, like, Delphox is, like, probably going to be, like, an RU, so, you know, there aren't even going to be any egg slashes in RU, but whatever. It's what I have right now. Uh, a Jolly Choice Banded Arcanine, because I really want to use Arcanine, because, you know, Arcanine's a pretty cool Pokemon. Gale Wings, uh, Adamant, Life Orb, Talon, Flames, Choice Specs, Camera, because... Because nobody ever uses camera ups. You know, everybody's making a big deal about Kiram being an NU. Camera's been stuck in PU since like the beginning of fourth gen or whenever it was created. So you know you know, hashtag some camera up love down in the comment section below. And also hashtag some uh, Heatmore love too, because Heatmore is also a completely underused Pokemon. And then of course we have a scarf T Tram. And then a life leftovers uh, heat more because I'm running a sub variant. And looking at his team, definitely the Aerodactyl I see is a huge threat because you know it can sweep my entire team basically with, with a combination of Earthquake and Stone Edge. It could also um, the Haunts Grow if it gets behind a sub, it could start sucker punching everything, get that Moxie boost and sweep me. Also, the Crobat can sweep me with you know a combination of Brave Bird and Night Slashes and Cross Poisons, all that fun stuff. So, you know, definitely lots of threats on the opponent's side of the field. Also, I have some a so few threats. A few threats. <clears throat> so, let's get right into the uh, the match. It's a pretty quick one, which is, uh... So, so it should be fun. So, I'm going to lead off straight off with my Delphox, my Firefox. It's shiny, too, because, you know, everybody likes... I like shiny Delphox. It looks pretty cool, in my opinion. I like it. So, anyways, he's going to Mega, which I thought for a moment, because he led off with it, he was going to be my favorite RU lead, which was uh, Sash Taunt Rocks. But he turns out to Mega, and he goes straight away for the crunch. First turn caught me completely off guard, because I thought for sure he'd want to step, like, Stealth Rocks or something, because, you know, as a mono fire team, Stealth Rocks would be important, one might think. But he decides to go straight away for the crunch, caught me completely off guard, and Kinnikins just dies. I think that's what call it, Kinnikins. I meant Delphox. Kinnikins. I don't even know. So right here, he goes for an Iron Head. Fortunately for me, I do not get flinched. I'm able to get off a nice chunk of damage with, um, a Choice Specs, HP Ice, but, it doesn't kill me, because camera up, I hate to break it to you, man, you kind of suck. But, uh, he does get a kill right here. Despite sucking, he gets a kill. And he's able to knock out the, uh, Mega Aerodactyl with a combination of two HP Ices, but, um... Yeah, I, I think I think my reign of using camera up is is near nearing the end because it just it just doesn't do anything. It gotta kill this match, which you know I'm I'm very happy about. I'm pretty proud of it, but it it's, it just sucks. I hate to say it, it just sucks. But right here, I, I find something very interesting. It's not a speed boost job, mega. It is actually a compound eyes one, which uh, I thought was pretty awesome. Because nobody ever uses that anymore. So, right here, I'm going to go straight for a Choice Scarfed Fire Blast. Because, you know, this heat more. This, I just called it a heat more. Good God, that's a disgrace to heat more. It's all over the world. Now, this heat tran is uh, actually Choice Scarfed. So, you know, I think that's pretty fun. But right here, he decides to go for um, a... Uh, what, what do you call it? Sucker Punch. As I am going to go for Fire Blast. It is not actually going to be able to knock out this Honchkro. Which I was very disappointed about. Um, but then again, I guess that's what I get for running timid instead of modest. 
I, I, I recently got another Heatran, which means I probably don't want this one anymore, which means I'll probably like wonder trade it away or something like that. But, I don't know. Anyways, I'm able to knock out the uh, uh, Grow with, with another Fire Blast. Fortunately, though, I don't miss, which I was really, really starting to worry that I'd start like, missing Fire Blasts. But fortunately for me, I don't miss. I am hit, be able to hit one more Fire Blast, do a nice solid like 50% to the Zapdos, as unfortunately it is going to go for a Volt Switch, knock me out. Not that big of a deal. Heatran, you did a lot of work. You were able to um, knock out two huge threats in the form of uh, Yon Mega and Honchkrow, and weaken the Zapdos considerable amount. So now, right here, I'm going to go into my Arcanine, because, you know, I have nothing better to go into, right, at this point in time, right? So I'm going to go into Arcanine, as he goes straight for Brave Red. I thought maybe I could outspeed, because I'm Choice Scar. No, actually, I'm Bandit, never mind. I don't know what I thought. But I'm actually able to live the Brave Bird, which I'm like, oh, Arcanine, you just didn't just be completely useless. Because normally what happens every time I use Arcanine, it just comes in and it dies, and I get a critical hit. The crit didn't matter, because I'm Choice Bandit. I forgot I'm Choice Bandit, not Scarf. I think that's why I brought it in, because I thought it was Scarf, but I'm actually Bandit. But I'm able to knock myself out with Recoil, which has been unfortunate. But but it, it did something. It did not just die. It did something. So I'm very proud of it. So now I'm going to go into Heat More. And Shiny Heat More looks just amazing. I love Shiny. I like, I like the look of Shiny Heat More. And the animation when it does flame it just like looks at it. It's like a fire. And it's like, I'm going to sear your face off. That's right. I'm going to sear your face off. But I don't know. It looks pretty awesome, in my opinion. But anyway, this Citrus Berry activates. He goes for Elite Seed, so now he's gonna... He's probably the uh, Harvest set, and he's gonna, like, try and stall me out. But judging by how much damage that Flamethrower did, I'm not fearing anything from this Tropius. I actually thought I would be slower, to be honest, than this Tropius. So, I don't... That's why I didn't go for Sub first turn, but... If I knew I was faster, I probably would for Sub, but... Right there, he goes for Protect. I probably should have seen that coming, went for a Sub then, but... I really don't care too much, because, you know, this Tropius is going to be dead right now anyways, because he's not living another flamethrower. He, but he tries for the double protect, which is a ballsy play, but unfortunately for him, it doesn't pay off as he doesn't get it. And I am able to go for uh, flamethrower and be able to knock out this Tropius, which is pretty awesome. So, you know, another Pokemon that I tried to get a kill with before, Heatmore, gets a kill. Heatmore, putting in them works. Dem works. So anyway, he's gonna bring now in the Zapdos, and uh, I don't want to lose Heat more right now, cause like I want, I want, I want, I want, I want, I want Heat more to do work, right? So I'm gonna switch out. I'm gonna go into Talon Flame. In hindsight, I really, really should have just sacked it right there, gotten a clean switch into Talon Flame, went for a Flare Blitz, knocked it out, and then be able to go win the game with another Brave Bird. But instead, what happens is I sack my Talon Flame, go back into my Heat more. Um, cause, uh, he goes for a discharge, I, I actually am able to live this, um, no, I'm not, this is a lie, I'm not able to live it, but yeah, what I should have done was I should have, uh, just, um, sacked my, uh, heat more right there to the, uh, Thunderbolt, then went back into my Talon Flame, and then would have been able to win the game with a Flare Blitz from that range, but unfortunately, I don't, and I do get like the narrow like one of loss. I think he just yeah, I think he just had the Zapdos left. But you know, it was, otherwise it was a pretty fun game. You know, it was it was fun. It wasn't like that competitive because I don't think like we brought that like well balanced of a team. Like my team's way too offensive, his team's way too offensive. So it was just like offense versus offense, pretty fun match. But anyways, uh, that's what just happens in my stream. Fun things happen. So uh, thank you all for watching this, and I will see you all next time. Bye.